Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. Check me out on all major social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Macari, and Facebook. Ow! See you there, babies. What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys, and here we are back with another action figure review. Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at the ultimate Shaman, Shaman Predator from Predator 2. It's been a while since I bought a Predator figure, figure. actually no, I'm, <laughs> I'm lying, actually, I just uh, recently bought the Concrete Predator. Uh, I saw this guy at Target at one of my toy hunts, we're going to take him off the stand for a moment. Uh, and uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick him up. I remember him from Predator 2, uh, the second best Predator movie ever made. Uh, and I do. Look at that head sculpt, bro. That looks so good. Uh, I'm definitely I definitely going to be displaying him with this head sculpt right here. But he looks amazing, man. Um, my only gripe with, with this Predator is I do wish... Um, I really do wish they come up with a different body sculpt. Yeah, I know it's Predator, but still. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I just wish they use a different body sculpt instead of the same shit over and over again. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to break out some of my my custom Predators and do some comparisons. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take out the Predator, Ultimate Shaman Predator from Predator 2. And let's take a closer look at what appears to be a masterpiece. <clears throat> all right guys so before we take a look at the predator let's take a look at all of his amazing accessories so he comes with uh two of the blades right here uh his disc blades he comes with uh some interchangeable hands three interchangeable hands to be exact uh he does come with this amazing head sculpt right here which looks freaking dope as hell man look at that bro wow Definitely going to be displaying him with this head sculpt. He does come with this axe with a skeleton on it, which is freaking dope as hell, man. Man, that's a badass weapon. He does come with a skull right here, as you guys can see. Bloody skull, which is really, really dope. And he does come with this other blade right here as well, which has like a, I don't know, bone handle to it. Blood on it. Dark blood right there. You guys can see that. Really nicely done. And then he comes with this awesome, amazing spear. You got to have a Predator figure. If you're going to have a Predator figure, you're, you're going to have a, to have a spear. And there is that spear. All right, guys, let's take a look at a uh, closer look at the Predator, Shaman Predator. Oh, right, guys. So there's the Shaman Predator out of the package. Now, um, I don't know if you guys have been longtime subscribers, but back in the day, I didn't do any editing. I used to open the package on camera, which, uh, to uh, which, you know, I uh, would produce a 17, 18 minute video. Nowadays, I do a lot more editing to where I try to cut down the process. So if you remember the good old days where I did no editing, I did just a straight review, then, uh, be glad that I started editing. Uh, because it was a pain in the ass taking out this Predator and all the accessories. It probably took me a good maybe four minutes to do so. But let's take a closer look at the Predator. And there's the Predator head sculpt. Ne Nobody does it better than NECA in my opinion. Yeah, you could say other toy companies produce some pretty good NECA figures. But I think, uh, or excuse me, uh, uh, Predator figures. But I, I can definitely say that NECA has mastered the Predator figure. And they do an amazing job. Then there's the back right there as well really nicely done predator um let's do a quick measurement guys and then 
I'm gonna switch out the head, put on his scarf. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this comes with it as well. This scarf, depending on how it looks on him, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to change out the head, but definitely see how it looks on him. There is some bendy wires on in this uh, like cloth cape scarf. Uh, so we'll see how that looks on him. Depending on how it looks, just, just depending on how it looks, if I'm gonna keep it or not. Uh, so let's do a quick measurement of the Predator. Shaman Predator stands at about eight and one fourth. That's between eight inches and eight and a half inches. So he's a big guy. Um, just for the hell of it, before we uh, switch out some accessories, let's compare him with some Predator, custom Predators that I did. Here he is with my Batman Predator. If you guys didn't see that review, please check it out. Uh, here he is with my warrior predator and see this is what I mean so me as a customizer you know and a kit basher if I can create something like this why can't NECA give us different like body sculpt you know what I mean I understand all the predators from the predator 2 movie pretty much had the same body type but still you know what I mean this is why I customize predators um, let's switch out the parts we'll do some more comparisons um, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so here is the Shaman Predator. And so I end up putting this scarf on him, but it just covers up all this amazing detail and it just doesn't look right. So I'll probably end up saving this scarf for something else, maybe another custom Predator, but yeah. Um, <laughs> it covers up a lot and I just didn't like it. So there he is with the uh, skull mask on right there, which looks amazing. Let me bring my camera up just a little bit. Um, it almost kind of looks like this can be removed right here, but no, what they did was they, I think it, this was a predator head sculpt and they just sculpted the skull uh, mask onto the predator head sculpt. But man, <laughs> that looks, look at his eyes too. You can see his eyes in there and you still can see the predator face uh, sculpt inside there as well. Very nicely done, NECA. Very nicely done. Great job. I switched out his hands for holding hands, so there he is holding this amazing axe weapon skull right there. The axe in the skull, which is fucking dope. And then they gave us the hand right here to where he can hold the spear. He can only hold the spear in this hand because it's it's a closed hand. Uh, but man, this is a great looking predator, man. Great looking predator. Um, let's see, if you want him holding... He does have a few other weapons, and he does have this head sculpt. This is going to be a future custom, most definitely, because I got some, I got a head sculpt, I got a skull to work with, I got some weapons to work with as well. So yeah, this is going to be definitely a future custom, and I got this baby right here as well. So yeah, look for a future Predator custom uh, in the making. Uh, so let's do some more comparisons. So here he is with my custom Arkham Knight Batman right there. And he's much bigger. Um, how about another Predator custom? Here he is with my uh, my uh, Spartan Samurai Predator right there. Looks pretty damn amazing. How about how about Super Ash custom kit bash Super Ash right there? If you guys want to see that review, check it out. And how about Batman? Let's break out Batman. There he is with my '89 Batman custom. Kit Bash 89 Batman. Um, let's see. Red Hood, just for the hell of it. There he is with DC Red Hood. Just to give you guys an idea of how big this Predator is. How about uh, Venom? Or excuse me, my Custom Riot. Custom Riot right there. Let's do... How about a Hulk comparison? So here he is with my Cyborg Custom Hulk right there. And this Custom Cyborg Hulk is a big guy. And you see how big Predator is standing next to custom uh, cosmic cyborg Hulk. Um, just for just for the hell of it, Venomized Hulk, why not? Venomized Hulk with Shaman Predator right there. Um, okay, uh, let's do, I want to break out my other big Predator, the Concrete Jungle Predator, because that was the last Predator that I did a review of. And then we'll call it a date. Okay, guys, so here he is with the last cus uh, a last Predator that I did a review of. I was going to say custom, but no, he's not custom. Uh, this is the Concrete uh, Jungle Predator, which is a fucking dope-ass Predator, bro. 
Well, that's how they measure up right there. I mean, he is a big predator, but this guy is pretty big as well. Pretty big as well. Really, really nice predator. Uh, I do like different predators. I do like unique predators. I do like the skull. I wish it was a little bit more detail on his skull, but I don't know what else you could have done. Maybe some scars or something. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more of a wash, a black wash, maybe. But overall, it's a good looking predator. Unique, different from all the other predators, minus the body. Okay, okay, guys, let's put him back up on the turntable and I'll give you my final thoughts and I'll give you my rating. All right, guys, so what do I make of this predator, man? Shaman predator. I think uh, NECA did an amazing job. Once again, I just wish they would use a different body mold because I'm just kind of tired of seeing the same body mold over and over all the time. Yeah, they use different parts. I understand that. But, you know, the Concrete Jungle Predator was, uh, you know, that's the third time using their body. But they switched it up and they put different body parts on him as well. Uh, this one is a little bit different as well. They switched it up. Different head sculpt, of course. Different look for Predator. Um, it's a different vibe. Different color variations. Um, uh, is it enough for me to actually love it? I like it regardless because it is NECA. So on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to be very generous. I'm going to give him like an 8.5 out of 10 because it's a really good Predator. NECA does an amazing job with their Predator figures. I do like the sculpt. I do like the color. I do like that head sculpt. is amazing, man. I love the mask on that. The spear, the weapon, the design overall. Just a really, really great looking Predator. Um, just my only gripe is I wish they would change up the body. Um, and give us a different different body for a Predator figure, you know what I mean? It's just, it becomes a little too, uh, how can I say it, un unimpressed, you know, when you collect Predator figures, because essentially you're buying the same damn figure with just different head sculpt and different accessories. So that kind of takes a little bit excitement out of, you know, collecting a Predator figure, and I think NECA needs to do something about that. Uh, and I... Definitely do think they need to change up the body. I think now is the time, especially if they're going to do different Predators, change up the sculpt of the body, because I'm kind of tired of seeing the same old Predator body, to be honest with you. But it's a good figure. Nonetheless, can I recommend it? I mean, if you like different, yes. I would recommend the Concrete Jungle Predator over there um, first before you get this one. But uh, it's a good figure nonetheless. All right, guys, there was my little review of the Shaman Predator from Predator 2. If you guys liked this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, you know, all that great stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.